All right, ladies and gentlemen, the hotfix is finally here that should rectify the latest SIM update 5. It was released this morning. Before we go further, we offer you constant updates on what's going on at Microsoft Flight Simulator. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for future releases. Very simply, first, make sure to close your simulator, navigate to the Microsoft Store and update the application there. This is roughly a 620 MB update. You can always double check on the Microsoft Store under what patch version you have. It's supposed to be 1.18.14.0. You can see it right here. Once it's done, open the simulator by clicking on the play button right there. And once you're in the simulator, it should give you the access to download a small patch, which is 340 KB in size. Let's cover briefly on what they plan to fix with the release notes in place. Many areas are going to be taken care from performance and stabilities that will be seeing a fix with various crashes in the game as well as the world map, AI traffic along with it, with memory leaks would be seeing fixes as well. Navigation areas should see fixes that are related with Garmin when trying to add a waypoint. Flight planners along with flight plans from the assistant which is a newly added feature. User interface should see a change as well as with the VR options. Marketplace areas have seen some issues as well under the download sections particularly. Planes will be expecting improvements in static systems to fix the altimeter bugs to enhance accuracy and have better measures to control temperature impacts. The Airbus A320 should see a fix under the auto brakes. The gameplay needs to be addressed in several areas that include landing challenges, fuel payloads, proper issue of achievements to the end user and many more. Now there have been spikes at higher altitudes for temperature, they should be fixed. It's time to see the sim back in place and we hope to see you all at 35,000 feet. Until next time, take care and happy flying folks.